what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is across nigeria if you are looking at my time it's actually 1 29 a.m so we bring you news round the clock stories on politics celebrities and metro stories as well so the support i need from you guys is for you guys to just click on that red subscribe button to support me to keep bringing you news about politics all right let's get straight to business all right so um okorocha remember on the 1st of um, april he actually um he was in a closed door meeting with president buhari uh, so there were a lot of speculation that he was meeting with um buhari to discuss how you know uh, federal might can compel the INEC to give him his certificate of return that he actually won the election um free and fair all right so he was saying how can he help the returning officer to declare him um winner of the election when the police the army the security agencies were there during the election how possible that could happen so he actually some um, faulted i make that um he was not declared winner under duress. You know, INEC um, before the election says any um, any uh, governor candidate, governorship candidate that is actually declared winner under duress will not get certificate of return. Not only governorship candidate, any candidate of um, political party. All right. So. Um, Okorocha was not lucky because um, the returning officer actually says he was um, held hostage to declare Okorocha winner of that election. But what is still bothering Nigeria is since um, uh, Okorocha was declared winner under the race, um, who actually won the election? That is a simple question. Let the returning officer open up to Nigeria. There should be a press release. They should grant him interview. Let the returning officer tell Nigeria who actually won the election, if not Okorocha, and why his certificate of return is not actually issued to him. Why not Heineck do a rerun of the election if they are doubting his victory? I'm not actually supporting Richard Okorocha. This one is between him and the people of Imo State. So, so far, so good. Um, the PDP of Imo State has latched out at the state governor, Rochas Okorocha, over purported appointment of his cronies into state judicial service commission in the twilight of his administration. So, the party described the action of the governor as a plot to frustrate the state governor elect a maker a head you have okay so of recent um uh, the son-in-law of rochas okorocha Uchenwosu has disclosed that he is willing to make peace with the apc he's willing to go back to the apc okay so he will use the opportunity to reclaim his mandate from a maker a head you have so the whole thing, the whole political saga is just making Nigerians to be tired of all these moves, all right? Now, there was a story I made, um, a lady, one of the presidential candidates, former presidential um, candidate um, of one political party like that, actually says the real reason why there is a lot of killings in politics it's because the money okay the money that is being pumping into political offices is so huge that anybody would do anything just to have a political office okay so um and also there were a lot of research if you want to check the research out yourself you can just go to google and make some research type on the google search um allowance of nigerian senator so you realize that um, a nigerian senator 
ends as much as two point something two point two million dollars yearly okay compared to other senators from different um, countries okay so you you even see that nigerian senator even earning more than a, a senator in the united states more than a senator in south africa and these are the countries that are well developed so nigeria we spend so much money into political office than into the masses so that's the reason why um, people will have to challenge election victory in court i, I believe this thing should be the winner takes it all if you were unable to you know get the fine claiming your mandate shouldn't be a do or die affair all right so now the pdp is 14 okorocha of doing last minute appointment to his cronies his close relative the people that were loyal to him that that is not gonna be a good start for a maker ahead of her so the statement read in part the horrid belated and strange appointment by the outgoing administration of Owele Anayo Rocha Sokorocha designed to frustrate the incoming government of the governor elect the maker Hedioha has been brought to the notice of the Mo state chapter. Okay, this latest attempt by the outgoing governor who has inflicted on toll hardship on the Imo people to appoint his cronies as a member of the Imo state judicial service commission okay now a maker is appointing his cronies into Imo state judicial service now remember his son-in-law is now challenging um, the victory of a maker he had you her so it's all political maybe he's trying to put his post his people there so that by the time uh, the the petition comes up it will be in the favor of his son in law okay so that is just all political so the emo state pdp hereby condemns these moves all right as it is a political tools calculated here yeah, just like what i said calculated to impugn on the independent and sanctity of the judicial arms of government in emo state all right so that is the news so far guys um i really don't know if you have any contribution on this story so let the people of Imo decide the fate of their governance all right so let it not just be political as usual where this one comes and install anybody well i really don't know i just decide to bring you this story of the update that is what we do here so please if this is your first time of uh, watching my story okay i really need your support or uh, just on the comment section below uh, just give me your own opinion based on this story and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel i beg you try and subscribe i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching